Okay, so we're going to be looking at Jim Jordan questioning uh, Kimberly Cheadle. But here's the thing. They're skipping over the most important questions, man. I don't understand how they're asking all these dumb questions and not asking the questions that actually matter. I mean, it completely and totally blows my mind, man. Like, are you kidding me? It's impossible that someone 20 year old could go and climb on top of a building that's directly in front of the stage, man, with the secret service there. It's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand what is going on where we're allowing nonsense like this. They need to have her in an interrogation room. They need to have her help. They need to have her in an interrogation room, not in front of, not in front of Congress in an interrogation room under that white hot light. And she needs to be answering some real questions. She needs to be answering real questions because this is serious, man. This isn't some small little old, you know, stupid thing that's in front of Congress right here, man. This is very, 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 very serious. And I don't think anyone's taking it seriously. Nothing's going to happen. There's no way that they made a Pac-Man out of the security line and cut out and, and didn't plot place under security the primary building that any shooter would have used to shoot. That's impossible. It don't even make sense. All right, so we're going to get into it, man. And I know I, I'm just, I'm heated by this, man, because it just doesn't make any sense to me. Why aren't they asking? I mean, I expect Jim Jordan, man, to really grill her. Y you'll see. You'll see. And then I'll give you my commentary. Let's get over there and, and see what's going on, man. That's Chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Mr. Jordan from Ohio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Director, were you guessing or lying? The day after President Trump is shot, Secret Service spokesman Anthony Gugliami said, quote, the assertion that a member of the former president's security team requested additional security resources that the U.S. Secret Service or the Department of Homeland Security rebuffed is absolutely false. The next day, Secretary Mayorkas said, that is an unequivocally false assertion. We had not received any request for additional security measures that were rebuffed. But five days later, the Washington Post said this, Top officials repeatedly rejected requests from Donald Trump's security detail for more personnel. The next day, the New York Times said this, Mr. Guglielmi acknowledged that the Secret Service had turned down some request for additional federal security assets for Mr. Trump's detail. So which is it? Because both statements can't be true. Were you guessing or lying when you said you didn't turn down requests from President Trump's detail? Neither, sir, and I appreciate the question. Well, what's, what were you doing? Because those statements don't, don't jive. So what I can tell you is that for the event in Butler, there were no requests that were denied. As far as requests- Well, maybe they got tired of asking. Maybe you turned them down so darn much, they said, not worth asking. How many times did you turn them down ahead of that? I think that it is important to distinguish between what some people may view as a denial uh, of a, an asset or a request. Well, is Mr. Not... Guglielmi your spokesperson? He said he acknowledged the Secret Service had turned down some requests. I'm asking how many? A denial of a request does not equal a vulnerability. Well, tell me what it is. There are a number of ways that threats and risks can be mitigate, mitigated with a number of different assets, whether that be through personnel, whether that be through technology, or well, other well, resources. Well, tell the committee which it was. They asked for additional help in some form or another. You told them no. How many times did you tell them no, and what'd you tell them no to? Again, I cannot speak to specific incidents, but I can tell you in general terms, uh, the Secret Service uh, is judicious with their resources based on- What does uh, some requests mean? How many times? Do you think for one second, that nobody knows that Donald Trump's life is at risk every time he steps out on one of those stages? Do you think for one second, judicial, with their resources, did you see, did you see her security? Sure didn't look like Donald Trump, and you know what, we got whistleblowers that come out now, and they're saying that the people who were there 
were very few, if any, were Secret Service at all. They were DHS, Depart- Department of Homeland Security. Ironically enough, ironically enough, the shooter, Crooks, the shooting range that he uses is also used by the DHS. That's odd. It's an odd thing, don't you think? Anyway, so I just, I don't buy it. Why is he not asking her about this stuff? Why is he not asking her why there were no real secret service there? Why is he not? I mean, listen, I love Jim Jordan. And I, I watched Jim Jordan, man, grill so many people. Why is he not on her about this? Because this is the real issue. This is the real problem. There are so many of them. There are so many questions that need to be answered. No one in their right mind believes that this was, you know, just some catastrophic failure. He can't. There's no way. There's no way. It's not humanly possible, man. This is ridiculous. Some indicate requests is plural. So more than once they asked for additional help and you turned them down. What they asked for and how many times did you turn them down? Pretty basic questions. So again, without having all of the details in front of me, sir, what I can tell you is that there are times... You didn't get briefed on how many times you turned down the Trump detail when they asked for additional help? I'm, I'm sorry. You didn't get briefed on that before you came to this hearing knowing you were going to get asked that question? What I can tell you is that in generic terms, when people, when, when details make a request, there are times that there are alternate ways to cover off on that threat or that risk. But that's not what he said. He said they were denied certain requests, some I, requests. I, this I, is your spokesperson, not me talking. This is the Secret Service talking. I and, it, and, and what a change from absolutely false, unequivocally false to, oh, by the way, there were some times where we didn't give them what they wanted. That's a huge change in five days. And the fact. It's because they lie every single time that they're up there. No one is responsible to say anything to Congress anymore. No one. Congress brings people in there over and over and over again. We see Mayorkas. We see all these people. And all they say is they can't, they can't comment on it because it's an open investigation. That's all they say every single time. No one is ever held responsible anymore. So why that's why they're just doing whatever they want to do. They're just doing whatever they want to do. Because there is no responsibility being taken by anyone. And when they go in front of Congress, they do a great show. And they, you know, they ask them all these hard questions and drive them down. But they never get any answers. And they never get anything that they request. And they, I mean, what do we even have Congress for if they're, they, they don't have any power? It's amazing to me. This blows my, it literally, it blows my mind, man. Where, where are we in America that no one is held responsible ever? that you can't answer how many times you did that that's pretty darn frustrating not just for me but for for the country i hear your frustration let me ask you this were any of those requests denied to president trump's detail after you knew about the iranian threat what i can tell you again i don't know the specifics is that there are times when we can fill a request it doesn't necessarily have to be with a secret service uh, asset or resource, we can fill that request with locally available assets. You spoke and to anyone at the White House since July 13th? Yes, I you have. You better believe she has. I have briefed the president and the vice president. Talk to the first lady? No, I have not. Talk to the White House staff, anyone in the White House communications? No, I have not. Have you talked to the counter sniper who took the shot that took out the bad guy? Yes, I have. And can you tell us about that conversation? I would not want to reveal conversations that I've there had it with is. my employees. But that's exactly the kind of information the American people want to know. American people who pay your salary. I understand. This is an ongoing investigation. There Who's it all is. doing the investigating at Secret Service? I know the Inspector General, but is there also an internal investigation in addition to the Inspector General? We are conducting a mission assurance investigation internally, yes. You know what it looks like, Director? It looks like you won't answer some pretty basic questions. It looks like you got a 9% raise and you cut corners when it came to protecting one of the most important individuals, most well-known individuals on the planet. A former president, likely the guy's going to be the next president. It looks like you guys were cutting corners. That's what it looks like to me. Is that true? I am here today because I want to answer questions, but I also want to be cautious. You might want to, but you haven't answered. I don't think you've answered one question from the chairman, the ranking member, or, or me. Well, we got a lot of other people asking. We'll see if your if your record improves, but right now you haven't answered. I don't think any questions. I yield back. Gentlemen, yield back. She wants to she wants to answer questions, y'all. She wants to answer questions. 
You believe that, don't you? Can't you tell how much she wants to answer questions? Here's the question. What was the black dot moving around, the shadow moving around on the, on the water tower? There's the question. Why did you have the security in a Pac-Man that cuts out the building that Crooks used to shoot? Here's the question. How did he get a 10-foot ladder across the field, set it up on a building, and climb up there with a rifle? Here's the question. How can you have everyone out there pointing and saying there's a guy with a gun there's a guy with a gun there's a guy with a gun and no one get Donald Trump off of the stage here's a question <laughs> there's lots of questions lots of questions and, he, and these questions need to be answered because you know what it don't look good man it does not look good for all intents and purposes man it has a real bad feel to it. And at me as an American and you as American people, we deserve real answers. And whoever is involved, they need to get this straightened out. Because this is bad. Listen, I love you guys, man. I appreciate y'all being here, man. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe, tap the notifications, man. Join me for this ride, man. We're going we're gonna to try to figure a lot of this stuff out. Let's figure it out together, man. Until I see you guys next time, bro, stay prayed up.